In this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There were several great improvements. If you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. Version 1.54 of VS Code adds support for Apple Silicon. So if you have a Mac with an M1 chip, you can now use VS Code without emulation with Rosetta. You'll also notice better performance and longer battery life when using VS Code. Pretty cool. VS Code will now retain terminal processes on Window Reload. So if you have to install an extension that requires a reload and you have some terminal processes running, these will now be restored automatically after the window reload. This includes all of the UI state of the terminal too, including the active tab, split terminals, etc. So I have two terminals open here and they're each running a node process. I'll reload the window and you'll see that these processes are still running after reload. We now have product icon themes in the extension marketplace. Now I didn't really understand what this was at first. It's not very clear on what product icon themes are, but now you can choose a theme for the icons that you see on the sidebar and throughout the application. We can open the command palette and search for product icon themes. And initially you'll see the default. We can choose additional themes in the extensions tab. And these are pretty cool. Now there's a new getting started editor that will start showing up on startup for some users. It's meant to help new users get up and running in VS Code quickly. You can go through the quick setup steps and learn the fundamentals. You can specify what you want to see on startup by going to settings and searching for workbench.startupeditor. And you can choose between none, the welcome page, readme, new untitled file, welcome page and empty workbench, and getting started. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.